your mind, change your life, doesn't just mean treating mental illness, it means treating the perception of it. And that's why we're here tonight, and that is our goal, to start right here in St. Louis by making that change happen. So without further ado, we're going to get the program started, and I'd like to bring to the microphone right now the Director of Development and Marketing for the Carl Smith Foundation, Ms. Emily Smith. Honored guests and friends. On behalf of Carla Smith Foundation and Bring Change to Mind, it is my privilege to welcome you to the Change of Mind, Change of Life Gala. Eight weeks ago, Carla Smith Foundation was presented with an opportunity to host a joint mental illness awareness and fundraising campaign with our partner organization, Bring Change to Mind. We were thrilled to accept this opportunity. And as I stand here tonight, I am equally thrilled to be able to say to you, that in eight weeks' time, while planning this two-day event, we have shared our awareness mission with over 45 mental health agencies, large and small, within the St. Louis metropolitan area, dozens more nationally, and we have communicated with over 85 corporations and hospital networks for awareness and support. We have been busy. Many have asked, why would you attempt a project of this magnitude under such a tight timeline? My response? Those of us serving in the mental health community and those who live with mental illness have waited long enough for a moment like this. A moment to collectively speak out and address the very real stigma of mental illness. The statistics you saw projected on the screen during tonight's opening are staggering. And every moment that we remain passive is a wasted opportunity to bring change to a very real and very prevalent issue. Now is the time to address this issue, loudly and boldly. I have been astounded throughout this eight-week process by the hundreds of emails and phone calls from people locally and around the country who have heard about this event and offered their encouragement and support. It has reminded me daily of how much this work matters. And your presence here tonight matters. You are enabling us to continue to combat stigma and to provide the support and services that those who live with mental health problems and those who have lost a loved one to suicide deserve. We are grateful to you and to every person who will join us at Bush Stadium tomorrow. I would like to take a moment to thank all of our Change of Mind, Change of Life sponsors, including Budweiser for the sponsorship of our after party, and Great Eagle, a sponsorship received after our materials went to print. I would like to offer special appreciation to our platinum level sponsor, Magellan Health Services, not only for their financial contribution to this campaign, but for their genuine interest in supporting this initiative. To the Net Impact, for the development of our website and countless hours of support to this cause. To an amazing PR team, Colby Co., Jane Higgins, we cannot have achieved this awareness without you. Mr. and Mrs. Bruce and Gloria Holland, for your personal and professional support, we are grateful. To the Anthony F. Sandstone Jr. family, also a platinum sponsor, we thank you. It has been our honor and privilege to work with Mr. Anthony F. Sansone Jr. and Mr. Anthony F. Sansone III on this project. Thank you for your time, your dedication, your support. As the audience will hear from Mr. Sansone III later, our work together is born of a common objective to combat stigma, and we look forward to future collaborations with you. To the St. Louis Cardinals represented tonight by Mr. and Mrs. William and Ira DeWitt III, thank you for hosting us at Bush Stadium tomorrow and allowing us the opportunity to share our mission with Cardinals Nation. And lastly, to Ms. Lynn Close and the Bring Change to Mind Executive Director, Nancy Evans. Bring Change to Mind has given those of us working in the mental health community a renewed energy and sense of purpose. Thank you for your courage, your leadership, your voice, and your commitment. We are honored to share this occasion with you. Thank you for sharing your message in St. Louis. This eight-week campaign is only our beginning. It does not end tonight or tomorrow at Bush Stadium. There is work to be done, and we will continue this work long after this weekend is through. At this time, I would like to welcome Kevin Smith, co-director and founder of Carla Smith Foundation, to the podium. <laughs> 